Sweet Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 9 of Delicious Party Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I know you're probably wondering why this is coming out so late on Sunday. I hung out with my mom because, of course, Mother's Day. Fell asleep. Finally woke back up. And I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and watch this now. And we found out the gentle was student council president. Shocker. The panda. Oh, uh, no. The noodles, yeah. No, I, I think she meant the panda. Uh huh. They might as well just go ahead and show the book well, of well yeah, he has to make an appearance today. Then next week he be he's gonna be shown. Of course, but like you could have just shown it for today. That's so stupid. Because we know he's the next mini villain. Because Gentle's now, you know, out of commission. Okay, cured. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, baby's faces. It's okay. Exactly. I mean, come on now. This is freaking mine. We're talking about a sentence of a bookworm. Look at mine. That gives me like panty and stocking art style, kind of, but like if it was toned down a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Mm 
No, 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 no. Babes, both of y'all. But it's okay to encourage her to possibly try something else besides just using ramen. Oh, God dang, that voice, that voice, though. Oh, hello. Well, then why don't you go out and try today? Wait, no send no boon da da boon da I figured he would do it this time, but like, ah, uh, it's just so better. I wish all three of them did it. Here you go. I know. Good. Oh no. Damn you eat. Why would you say that? Huh? 
It's like freaking hug till all over again. Freaking babies. No, 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 no. And play with her. Oh my god! Well, I mean, yeah, since it seems like this might be your last time, baby. But wait, anyway, what about the ice cream now? So we're just using both for that? Uh, okay. Because you would think she would have two. Like, oh, hey, let's use this. And then let's use the ice cream as like an ice cream truck attacking them at the same time.
the voice like oh course gonna block it Yeah, but sometimes you can't go out there going guns a blazing and being reckless. Mm hmm. True, but not in this situation right now. from the bottom yeah knocks him over And of course, her true self is coming out.
Oh, that's cute. You know, it would have been awesome if Kome Kome called Yumi Mama because it's Mother's Day and all. Like, oh, I would have loved that. It would have been Hakuto Pretty Cure all over again, once again. But like, oh, this was a really interesting episode for Mother's Day and such. To, you know, sometimes because as friends, you're gonna have disagreements and you're not going to be able to agree on everything. And that's why we have fights because we love and care for each other and also because we want to voice our opinions on one another and that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't think if you get in an argument with one of your best friends that your friendship is over because of it. No, it's not. You're doing it because you love each other. And you care for you know, one another and you want each other's opinions on everything. So just be sweet and kind towards it. Yeah, you're going to be angry at first and such. But just remember also to apologize because, you know, that makes everything better. Kiss and make up. Just, you know, be happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But gentle. Oh, baby, gentle is slowly coming back to her humanized self. Something tells me that from what I had seen from the episodes list for episodes 10, I think, to 14, we're about to see something happen. We're about to go into really, really big, 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 heavy plot issues for the next four weeks, I believe. And we might even see the last cure come a lot earlier because, I mean, since we are get, we are now about to get into the double digits by next Saturday, um... I'm expecting her to come a lot early, just how, like, Laura did. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the little gun-looking thing, in my opinion. The cute gun. <laughs> Because it kind of reminds me of Cure Combo's uh, Cosmo's Weapon, the perfume thing, um, where in a way it kind of looked like a gun, and they were like, we're not saying it looks like a gun, but it looks like a gun. It just looks like a very cute, adorable gun that they're going to have to first hold like this, but eventually it's going to be turned like this and such. So come on now, it's a little freaking obvious. But yeah, it seems like very surely we're going into a lot of plot-heavy stuff for the next four weeks, so I felt like we're gonna get, like, a gentle backstory on her, on why she went down this road, or what made her go down this road to become evil, just how possibly we're going to get it with the other two, but it's gonna be later on into the series and such. But our new boy, I know he is voiced by a previous person who's done pretty here. I know he voiced a man older adult type character, I'm guessing a parent to one of the cures in a different season because what I had saw last night was pictures of who he voiced in it and I was just it didn't they didn't say who he voiced in what series for Pretty Cure. He just said, Oh hey, there's somebody else for Pretty Cure. And usually that always ends up happening and such. Like they will always take somebody who's been in a Pretty Cure series before to also play in again because that's I still feel that way towards one of the characters from last season as one of the villains and then the previous season as well, especially when you hear like a character from Star Twinkle up to Healing Good and also up to Tropical Rouge. There's that one woman who sounds very similar in all three of those shows and I'm like, did we hire her again? I'm like, hey, I ain't mad at it. You know, you get your money and it's, you do what you got to do. But yeah, I really thought today's episode or really last night's episode was very interesting. Honestly, cannot wait to see our weapons next week. I think they're going to look gorgeous as F. I feel like, you know, probably also by next week, that's when we're going to see what the toy looks like. Um, because people are going to have pictures of the their weapon as a toy and stuff. And so I'm really excited to see that. If the videos have not already been uploaded between this week and a little more into next week. But, of course, we're not going to know until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday. Yeah, I would have had this come out Saturday night. But because when I came home at 1, I literally took a nap. I had to go do laundry. I didn't get done until... We didn't get back till about 6, 7 o'clock doing laundry. And so I immediately had to get started on everything. And that's why, like, majority of my stuff didn't come out until about 10, 12 o'clock in the morning. 
And I stayed up majority, but I was like, I'm tired. I fell asleep. And that's why this is coming out very late. But I should be able to get this out next Saturday before the night is over. Probably maybe by midnight as well, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.